In only game three of playing this game for an hour, let's spring into the action! Hello everybody, this is Shocklands1000 in report for duty, welcoming you back to our episode of Banjo-Kazooie! Last time, we started off a new area known as Clanker's Cavern, and in this episode we're going to be continuing things on in that particular world. That is, of course, if we can actually get there really, really fast, which I can't guarantee that I will. So... <clears throat> I wonder how everybody's been lately, because I can definitely tell you I'm going through the wrong way. Um, yeah, I do that sometimes. Because um, I've kind of been alright lately. It's like nothing major has been going on in my life. No surprise there, of course, might I add. And, um, well, you can kind of get the whole gist of things. But I was actually meant to do this in the last episode. If you ground pound this... You make that pillar rise up. That will allow you access to get up there. Because you can see that uh, Brent Hilda is up there. Or however it is you pronounce her name. I'm not overly the best when it comes to mentioning people's names or whatever. So, yeah. So, yeah. Last episode, you noticed that in Clanker's Cavern... We only grabbed 61 of the 100 no's, 5 jiggies, but not a single honeycomb piece, and we've been in here for about 15 and a half minutes. I'll just knock that snippet over, because I can't be bothered with him. <coughs> right, so let's dive in the water and go back to where we were, where Clanko is. And, um, yeah, uh, Clanker will be above water because we did collect the Jiggy from him, in case you're wondering. As you can see right there, there he is. Now, um, when we ended the last episode, you noticed that we went inside his mouth and <clears throat> we grabbed ourselves a Jiggy and plus a Mumbo's token. There's an extra life over here if you want it. Use the shock jump to land on here, and then just fly up here and you got some more notes. You do actually want to come up here if you want to get yourself a free mumbo token. So that will bring us up to 14. Oh, and um, in case you're wondering... You don't actually have to enter him through his teeth. You can enter him through lots of different ways. You can enter you can enter him <coughs> You can enter him through those grills or gills, sorry. Or you can climb on top of him and you see this. It will spring up, you fall right in, and there is a witch switch. Which will pop up those eyes. Now you're gonna have to watch out for these blades. Because the further you go in, the faster they will spin. Or better yet, the more blades you deal with, in other words. So Jiggy right here at the very end, so that's number six for us. But if we go even fur Okay, that was weird. I heard something then, and I wasn't too sure what it was. But um, we've actually gone into the main belly of um, Clanker. And as you can see, these whiplash... Um, enemies right here. Those are actually are the equivalent name of them. Um, I'm going to use the um, flying disc over here. Those rings, you do want to do them, but not right now. Right now, my main priority is to fly inside here. And, as you can see, here's the new move that we got told about. This move uses Beagle's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool, does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Hold the right or left trigger and push the right stick to the right. Keep the right or left trigger held down and use the left stick to move around to stay invisible. Use it wisely though as the move requires gold feathers and it can only carry ten of them. Here. Yeah. Take these five valuable gold feathers with you. And you notice that we already grabbed two. Two of them, so... 
yeah. Just gonna skip this, we have to learn all the moves, the rest is up to us. Now, you can actually do this with the um, invincibility up, but... Just take it like a champ. Take it like a champ. That's chicken number seven. There you go. You don't even need to use the invincibility there at all, really. Now, back into the belly. Uh, these rings. One of them is highlighted green, but the others are highlighted blue. The one that's highlighted green, you want to jump into it. It starts a timer and activates another hoot to turn it green. And then another one after that. You want to go swim through all of these rings in the exact order that you see them in. Do a little backflip to jump into that. And then swim into this. Go into this wooden crate. And then lastly, you just got to swim inside that hoop. And what do you get? You get the water level rised up, allowing you to swim up to here and believe it or not, there you go. I was going to say, you can't jump up to grab it, of course you can. There's Jiggy number eight. But don't think we are done inside Clanker just yet. You notice that there was two side panels that you can go into. Um, I would have actually grabbed these off camera, but I rather, but I wanted to keep them where they were, so that way you got to see them. So let's grab these. If you keep swimming to the very end, you e you exit out of one of his gills. Go back in, and then what you want to do is to do the exact same thing, but on the other side. So you swim up here, we'll destroy this to um, regain our health, and you want, you actually do want to go down this bit, because there's a Jinjo down here. This Jinjo is normally missed by many players in this game, so make sure to go down there and grab it when you got the chance. And that's everything you can do inside Clanker, so we can just swim out. And you want to climb on top of him. Uh, just want to make sure on something real quick. Um, right, we got everything up that way. Now let's climb up the tail. We got everything up there as well. I failed the jump. Don't matter anyway though. Uh, that shock jump over there, the shock, shock disc jump, you do actually want to go over there because um, using Clanker's fin of course. There we go. Oh, <laughs> Wow, shock jump into the water. That's very smart. You want to cling onto this pole. And you actually hear the sound of a Jinjo. Ground pound this. And that's where he is. But you're not done there yet. Backflip out. Do the talent drop because you will slip down this. Okay, so we've got 10 notes left. Then jump up. Ground pound this. And there's one of your honeycomb, empty honeycomb pieces. But the question is, where's the other one? Uh, oh, there's a note up there. Quite a couple, actually. Right, okay. So uh, I think we need to go back onto Clanker. 
Actually, no, we don't. Uh, some golden feathers hidden inside there. Uh, you don't really need to bother with that, personally. Uh, those two... Um, right, okay. I remember... That hole and that hole we've already been down. So let's... Fail to go up a pipe. How very wise, Banjo and Kazooie. There we go. Right, so you do a shock jump into that. And you got to do this in order to stay on where you are. So you'll be grabbing red feathers, blue eggs, sometimes a gold, uh, gold feather. You grab a no, but also, if you go to the very end, you'll get yourself a life. Now I'm going to ground pound into the water here. And I don't remember swimming down this way. Let's see what's down here. Oh, Mumbo Token. Okay. So there's Mumbo Token over there if you want to grab it. Which means there's only one hole that we haven't yet explored. And it's this green one over there. I think... Once we've got in there, we will have gotten everything except one. Uh, but then again, Clanker's Cavern is actually one of the things where the empty honeycomb piece that we haven't yet grabbed is always the one that stumps me. I always forget where it is. Sleepy mutants are we! Jigsaw is as! Fight us, you mess! Yeah, we gotta fight these mini snippets. Just do ground pounds to get rid of them. There are a total of, of I believe, four or five of them. There's the third one. Now let's go around the other way. Let's see, 97, 98, 99, 100 nodes. Yeah, there was four. Okay. Is beaten snippet mutants are we yours is prize Yeah sometimes these characters who say certain things I don't even understand what they say half the time Snippet mutants are we and then he says snippet mutants are we every time It's stupid So yeah we've grabbed every single note we've grabbed every single jiggy but there's one honeycomb piece that we haven't yet grabbed and this is the one that always stumps me. But I just remembered where it is. Um, you see... Um, that pipe. We actually jumped on it one time to grab some nose on top of that um, pole that we climbed up. There's a bottom area that you can swim up. That is where it is. On my third playthrough of this game... I actually completely forgot where this was, and it took me three hours to find it. I am not joking. It seriously took me three hours to find that. And I still couldn't find it, and I ended up having to use the internet's help to guide me. But I managed to find it in the end. So we no longer have to deal with Clanker's Cavern, thankfully, because... If we go in a few totals, we see that we've now 100%ed Clanker's Cavern. In episode 5, believe it or not. But now the hard bit, trying to get to the exit warp pad <coughs> to take us back to Gruntilda's area. And yet, if you leave an area and then come back, or just generally leave the game, these Gritters will actually respawn, so you've got to be aware of that. There you go, made it first time, nice! Now, before we, um, leave, you want to, like, go up this way. <clears throat> Get rid of this. And you want to talk to, um... Gruntilda here. Let's see. 
Grunty wears a reinforced girdle under that repulsive dress of hers. <clears throat> okay. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big Naka. The sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful. <laughs> I don't blame you. But yeah, you also want to come over here and ground pound this. That will open up the drain over there, but yeah. My filthy bed gives me a rash. I never wash. I save my cash. <laughs> oh my god, Gruntilda. You are one filthy Arab you are. So yeah, you actually want to come up this way because I think as far as I remember... Whoop, if I can get out of the water... Yep, yeah. there's another world here that we can unlock. And you can tell by the bottom of the map is Bubble Gloop Swamp. Okay, let's now dive back in the water. And let's go back to the room where um, we actually unlocked Treasure Trove Cove and Clanker's Cavern to begin with. So yeah, that's uh, what she said about Gruntilda's pet dog and also what band she's played in. You actually want to remember them because occasionally she does ask you those questions. Um, well, when I say she asks you those questions, I'm not going to go into any further detail about that because... Occasionally you might get asked some questions, occasionally you might not. But anyway, it's ground pound of ice, back in place, and then grab the jiggy. That's the fourth jiggy now inside Gruntilda's la uh, lair, and they said lap then. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Um, right, so now we need to go up this way and unlock this door. So now we walk in. And we get uh, greeted by an ugly statue. Uh, right, I think the way you need to go is round up there, but... Yeah, there's another one of the Brentilda locations hidden behind here. My lazy sister often sleeps in a pigsty. Why would you want to sleep in a pigsty? That is disgusting. The only thing she's ever won was the dirtiest undies competition at which school. No wonder why she's like sitting inside a bathtub of baked beans. <laughs> She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, posing in her long johns. Right, okay. Right, so this is the way you need to go for Bubble Gloop Swamp. Um, and what's actually weird, if you go this way, yep, yeah, there's another one of the Batildas! My fat old sister's favourite sport is loogie flicking. I have no idea what loogie flicking is and I don't even want to know. My belly's big is rather neat. It's years since I have seen my feet. No wonder. Because you keep eating you keep eating fatty food all the time. Although she's there, she attended St. Dungbell School, I think that's what that said. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is blowing balloons up with her butt. That is a very common one, that is. A very common one. Um, right, okay, so we walk along this way. Don't jump into the swamp, my say, because there will be piranhas in there. Just a fair warning. Um, right. Before I do anything, call me crazy, but I'm going to jump right in. You can actually run. Whoop. Well, keep your smelly feet out. Uh, you can actually um, do this 
very early. Because if you go this way, you notice there's another portrait over there. But if you go all the way up here, you notice that there's a little ice cube here. If you ground pound it, uh, you actually unlock the path, but you can't access it as Banjo Kazooie alone. Right, let's unlock um, this world while we're here. This area is called, believe it or not, Freezy Peak. Here's the reason why there's a snowman on there. And it's got ice conditions, so um, yeah. Oh. Uh, these boots. Hey! Keep your feet out! You can't use us until you've learned so until you've spoken to bottles. I was actually gonna say until you've learned how to, but that's obviously not what he says. Right, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it! Yes! Oh. One second later and we would have been um um, toast. So there you go. Bubble Gloom Swamp. Keep your eyes open for your new move, big face. <laughs> and yeah, the move is right over there. New enemy, flip it. Just roll into it or do anything else and then you immediately kill it. Here he is. These are the waddling boots. Chicken legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp, for example, for a limited time. Okay, chicken, uh, Kazooie, let's go grab a pair. <laughs> Bottles and Kazooie love taking the mickey out of each other, calling each other names, and it nearly made Banjo call Kazooie chicken legs. I love it. But anyway, with the, so we're coming to the time limit. It's time to the end of this episode. So next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we're going to be exploring our newly unlocked world of Bubble Gloop Swamp. See you guys then.